His word calls. Can you hear it? Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk Holy with Him Ghost by saying God words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure that you subscribe. If this is not your first time here and these messages are a blessing to you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Today I'm going to be talking about the call of God and how to respond to it. Matthew 22, verse 14. For many are called, but few are chosen. So we got many. We all know what that means a lot and then few are chosen which means not as many right mm -hmm. they didn't make it so we don't want to be the ones who don't make it we want to be the ones who are called and chosen does that make sense that's what i'm going to be talking about today the call of god and how to respond to it well it seems like in this verse of scripture if you just took that at face value and you didn't know anything else you might think that god is not only the one calling but he's the one choosing well let's just look on here we'll see if this is actually the case acts chapter 17 verse 30 the times of this ignorance god winked at but now commands all men say all men everywhere to repent so we have all men and everywhere that would that include you of course i'm somewhere you're somewhere and you are a person and so here god is commanding you to repent say repent and repent simply means to turn around from where you were going and to go towards him does that make sense that's the call he's calling all men to repent there are the verses of scripture that say that but he says here you know he winked at the ignorance but now he's calling so we can see that people are ignorant of the call acts chapter 10 and look at verse 34 then peter opened his mouth and said of a truth i perceive that god is no respecter of persons well hang on here if if many are called he called many and we know that he's called everyone right he the call went forth say the call went forth that meant to everyone but then he just chose a few well, I like you I don't like you 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 that's not what's going on here because if he says he's no respecter of persons it's not based on the person it's based on something else say it's based on something else let's read on here look at this of a truth I perceive that God is no respecter of persons but but in every nation he that fears him and works righteousness is accepted with him is accepted with him so god's not respecting the personage he's respecting whether that person worships him and works righteousness so if he called people the call went forth and someone out there doesn't matter who it was begins to worship him and work righteousness that person is accepted or that person is chosen it's not based on who the person is it's based on whether that person turned at the call and started doing what they were supposed to be doing right that's good news for you and me because, oh I'm not called. no everyone is called but few are chosen or you can see even better it's to, to say it this way few chose the call went to everyone but few chose to go on does this make sense so god is not the chooser who's the choose use the chooser you choose whether you're going to go on and you're, you're going to choose whether you're going to remain in ignorance or not a lot of people never fulfill the call say the call because they're in ignorance of how to fulfill the call so many are called that means everyone but few choose to respond or they don't know the way to respond what's the problem here then the problem is ignorance of how to respond and if you heard that you can begin fulfilling the call of God on your life 
because you were in ignorance before but now you're not, not gonna be in ignorance of how to respond so they're in ignorance of how to respond he called now if God calls what is that that's his word you understand his word is his will he says he's called every man so then it's up to the every man as to how they respond to whether they are chosen or not so let's look a little bit further into the mind of God here and see what he's thinking about it he sends forth his word and then he looks at you he observes you and sees what you're gonna do about it but he calls and then looks at you and then the ones that respond correctly are chosen no respect of person so he's doing this without respect of the person he's doing it with respect to whether they respond correctly to the call so there must be a proper response don't you wish someone would tell you what the proper response to the call of God would be wouldn't that be great wouldn't that be a great message to have someone tell you what the proper response because if we're all called but only few are chosen how would you like to be in the chosen few say I would like to be in the chosen few so it'd be good if a preacher would come along and tell me how to respond to the call so that I could be chosen without respect of persons the proper response is I will be that I will do that he calls his word goes forth he calls and then your proper response to the call is I will that whatever the call was why do you have people repeat things back to you so often and if you've been around here long enough you know that I do it all the time say all the time say all the time I do it all the time and you go well why why would you do that well there's a couple reasons one is it keeps people's attention but there's a wider underlying reason and purpose it's because I'm trying to get them to respond I speak for the word and then they respond we're talking about the call of God and how say how to respond then we have some participation in the call of God are you getting this Psalms 91 verse 2 I will say of the Lord he is my I will say will will say of the Lord the proper response to this verse of Scripture is to say something I will say of the Lord he is my then you are fulfilling that verse of Scripture it tells you to say it Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5 for he hath said I will never leave thee nor forsake thee isn't that good he hath said something I will never leave thee or forsake thee verse 6 so that we may boldly say the Lord is my helper he said something which was a call that went forth and I say something the proper response he is my I will say of the Lord he is my here it is the Lord is my helper so we can see that the first part of responding to the call is to say I will say that so we boldly say a response without respect of persons his word is his will his word is his call each scripture is a call of God he said it he's calling for something to be that way what's the proper response is to say that it's that way for me each scripture is a call of God each scripture demands a response a response from who a response from you second Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20 
for all the promises of God in him are yea and in him amen unto the glory of God by us so all the promises of God right all the promises of God are yes he's already called them yes and in him amen amen means so be it he's already said yes to the promise now it's our response to that to say so be it unto me he called it that way and now i have to say it's that way for me so every verse of scripture is a call of god and every verse of scripture demands a response every promise of god has already said yes now we have to take every promise of god and say amen so be it unto me we have the call and the response well I, that's just the promises of god well what is the call of god the call of god to be saved repent and be saved the call of god to be filled with the holy ghost the call of god to do whatever you're called to do it's a promise of god and we have to give the response which is to say so be it unto me i will be that that's the response saying we walk with god by saying his word calls can you hear it whatever the word calls it if you can get this whatever the word calls it or whatever way the word calls it you your response to that is to call it that way too for you if he said by Jesus stripes you were healed what are you supposed to call that by Jesus stripes I was healed I'm fulfilling the call that God called me to and he's glorified by it I'm glorified by it are you getting this so how does the word call it that's how you do too he calls it that way you calls it that way and what are you doing when you do that you're fulfilling the call by responding the right way he doesn't need you to do a whole lot of things i know that when we start talking about the call of god people start oh i gotta do this i gotta do that no he doesn't need you to do a whole lot of things he's still god he can do what he do with or without you but in your life he needs your approval he needs your words he needs your saying in agreement and he needs your response your words are your will his words are his will and somehow you got to get your will and his will together like it or not we live in a world made out of words the holy ghost who's god in the earth today came into this world made out of words and if we're going to walk with him we're going to have to learn how to say some things if you're going to fulfill the call of god which are words you're going to have to learn how to say some things that are in agreement with the call of god well, i don't want it that way then you're not going to have it so the first step to getting the things to happen for you is to respond in the right way the first thing to getting the call of God in your life is to respond in the right way. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 6. Howbeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect. We speak with the wisdom of God among them that are perfect or them that are mature them that are going on we're saying things among them that are going on am i getting this across sometimes you just have to say things more than once so people get it we speak wisdom among them that are going on verse look at verse 7 but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery even the hidden wisdom which God ordained 
before the world unto our glory what do you suppose ordained means that's the call we are speaking among them that are going on the call of God how are we gonna fulfill the call of God you must speak the call of God how are you gonna fulfill the call of God you must speak the will of God it's the number one thing it's the number one thing that God needs you to do and not just doing a bunch of stuff that is doing stuff that is speaking in agreement what if you know God got up you know and he said he was gonna create the heavens and the earth and you said uh, well he's not doing anything all he did was speak that's the way he still does things is by speaking that's how you correctly respond to the call is by speaking so we speak wisdom that's verse 7 we speak say we speak who's the we we that are going on we those who are going on are the ones who are fulfilling the call are you getting this the ones who are fulfilling the call are the ones who are speaking the wisdom of God even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory we can read on here let's just skip down verse 12 now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of God that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God which things also we speak so these are the things what things are we speaking we're speaking the things that God ordained the things that God called unto our glory well my glory is going to come after I speak the things and then verse 13 it says God has revealed them things unto us which things also we speak these things that we're called to we must speak that's our number one response are you getting this speaking the things is my number one response say that speaking the things is my number one response to the call of God but these things happen in the spirit first I hope you're getting this the call of God just doesn't happen out here in the world where does the call of God happen it happens on the inside first God calls he speaks a word and for us to receive it and to know it according to 1st Corinthians chapter 2 we have to speak the thing that's the number one and first response and as we speak the thing the thing is revealed to us and we're able to do it but it happens on the inside first so many people think that the call of God is gonna happen out here no it happens on the inside first the call of God is a scripture is a verse of scripture that comes to you and calls you and then you return it to him by saying it and it happens on the inside of you first and verse 14 while we're still here first Corinthians chapter 2 verse 14 but the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God for their foolishness unto him neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned you recognize it there you understand it there you receive it there it happens in the spirit first what the things the things that God has called God has called you to glory God has called you to healing and health where does that happen first it happens on the inside he sent it forth he sent his word now you have to agree with it and say it and it happens on the inside all right if it's of God it came through this channel that I'm talking about it came through through this means it came through this call that I'm talking about if it's of God now many people attribute things to God that he had nothing to do with even good things if it didn't come through this method through this vehicle and into your spirit man first it did not come from God 
I know people write me nasty things but many people attribute things to God that simply are not had nothing to do with him because this is how God does things wealth happens on the inside first say that wealth happens on the inside first where does healing happen on the inside first if healing came from God it came through this method the call and the response say the call and the response he called for healing and you responded by saying be it so be it unto me how about youth renewal where does that happen first on the inside I know you don't want it that way but this is the way it works when you begin to understand and recognize this that this is how it works you can begin to cooperate with God the Holy Ghost more effectively and therefore fulfill the call of God more completely first Corinthians chapter 3 verse 9 we are laborers together with God for you are God's husbandry it means garden you are God's building you're the temple of God you're the garden of God what do you suppose he is planting in you and trying to grow in that garden his word God works with words he is a spirit and he works with words say God is a spirit and he works with words say I am a spirit and I work with words how are you going to fulfill the call of God by being a spirit and working with words these things happen here first healing the healing happens in the spirit first say the healing happens in the spirit first youth renewal happens in the spirit first the miracle happens in the spirit first the deliverance happens in the spirit first the promotion happens in the spirit first where is your promotion in the call of God going to come from it's going to happen in the spirit first and it's all promotion we go from glory to glory we get promoted from one glory to the next level of glory is this making sense it's all promotion and it's based on answering the call correctly it's based on answering the call correctly it's based on responding in the right way to the call and we know how to respond to the call by saying and these things happen in your spirit man first you say I will say that I will do that I will be that that's the proper response to the call of God I will say of the Lord he is and as you learn to know how to fulfill the call of God you will learn to know how to say the right things and the right things will come forth and you will fulfill your call in the right time says the Spirit of the Lord we thank you for it Holy Ghost in Jesus name amen